All right, good people. Welcome back to another episode of Faith in Tech. And today I am going to talk about something that is going to blow your mind so much so that you're going to need to fix it. As a matter of fact, when I am done with this lesson, I hope that you want to fix your mind. And this is actually inspired by conversations I recently had with a lot of my clients. They have this false sense of belief about what it takes to not only land a job in cybersecurity, but to advance their career. And so today I'm going to talk about a couple of biblical principles that actually support and may even show you that you have been going about this whole thing wrong. So people would believe that starting a cybersecurity career begins with skills, certifications, or even a job. And I'm going to tell you and prove to you that it doesn't start with any of that. Absolutely none of that. So real quick, there is this, this concept that I like to teach, especially with my kids. It is this concept of being prepared for when an opportunity comes because the thing is, success is easy to achieve, but it is so difficult to manage. I'm gonna say that again. Success is easy to achieve, but it is so difficult to manage. And we see this day after day. Somebody has some type of video or something online, it goes viral, but then that person is never able to reproduce that same result because of that same principle. The reason why is luck sometimes happen. So I'm gonna give you one of these boydisms real quick and then we go get to the Bible. One of these boydisms. And that is success without a repeatable framework is luck. Simple as that, like success without a repeatable framework is luck. That's why when I'm talking to my clients, I teach in principles so that steps, repeatable steps can be generated to lead you to that outcome. And that's how I've been able to be successful in my career, but that's how I've been able to help other people as well. So I was telling y'all what being a cybersecurity professional does not start with, but now I'm gonna tell y'all what it does start with. And spoiler alert, it's nothing too um, spiritual or anything, but it literally starts in the mind. It literally starts in the mind. So I'm gonna put it to you like this. Now I want you to think about this logically. Many of you right now are trying to get a role as a cybersecurity professional for whatever reason. You wanna make more money, you wanna provide for your family. That's all good, that is all good. But think about the word choice there. You want a job as a cybersecurity professional. So with that being said, you have to understand that companies are hiring cybersecurity professionals. So in order for you to get hired, you need to become a cybersecurity professional. And I know that may sound just like so redundant, but I promise you I'm going somewhere. Hear what I'm saying, hear what I'm saying. You don't need a job before you become a cybersecurity professional. You need a transformed mind. So last night I was on of what should probably have been a, <laughs> a 90 minute call with my clients that went well over two hours because I was trying to convince them of this very thing, this very thing. And if y'all watching this, you know, I love you uh, and I ain't going to say no names. I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying, because I believe in this concept called the unicorn theory. Unicorns don't exist. So if you think this way, there's going to be thousands, if not millions of other people that think the same way. So I need to break this myth down for everybody. So you get this, y'all, your mind controls everything, everything. So I've been working with some clients and they are really, I'm talking about highly skilled people. If I had openings on my consulting team right now, I would hire them. Right. And I'm telling them this and I'm pouring into them each week. And so I issued a challenge. I was like, all right, y'all, it's that time. It's that time. I need LinkedIn profiles updated. I need resumes updated. I need you to implement the system. But then there's hesitancy because it's like, all right, um, I'm not sure that I can actually get the job or do the job. But I'm like, you've been doing this for months. I've seen you do it. You've been doing this. You are ready. You are the professional. But their mind did not agree with what I was saying. And so then I asked this. I was like, so 
tell me if you went and upgrade, updated your LinkedIn profile, your resume, what is the absolute worst thing that could happen? And the response was, I don't get a job. Nothing happens. So, like, okay. What is the absolute best thing that could happen? Um, I get an interview. I get a job. Okay. I say, so think about this for a second. You are optimizing for the absolute worst result which is not getting a job, which is nothing. So what you are telling me is you are not taking action to advance the career that you said you wanted to because you are afraid of nothing. Can, can y'all let me know if that makes sense? And I'm talking to the folks in the room, in the chat. Let, let me know if that makes sense right there. Afraid of nothing. And, and, and that's where I just like had to, to go in and kind of understand where this mindset is coming from the fear of not accomplishing something crippling, crippling us so much to the point where we don't take action to succeed blows my mind. And I'm not saying I'm immune from it. I am fortunate that in my career that I had some people that helped me overcome this thing myself. Because with all the cards stacked against me, uh, college failure, dyslexia, ADHD, bipolar disorder, high school father, I had every opportunity to say I'm not eligible to become the security architect for American Airlines. I'm not eligible to speak on stages around the world. I'm not eligible to write a book of Forbes. I had every excuse, but there is this one verse that I hang on to, and it's in Romans chapter 12. And Paul tells us, do not be conformed by this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And when Paul is talking about this, this transformation right here, this is so important, y'all. This is so important. He's specifically talking about changing your thought patterns, ignoring what is existing in this world. Because when he's talking about don't be conformed by this world, he's talking about this arrangement, what we see. But have your mind renewed. Because I want you to think about it like this. Especially if you are out there and you are waiting for some special training or certification that is going to automatically give you confidence to go get a job, I can promise you it is not going to. Because confidence is something that comes from within. And adding a piece of paper to your name doesn't change you. You still have to show up to communicate. You still have to understand how to actually execute, do the job, bring value. So if your mind is not renewed, you're not going to be able to do that. It is what I call, it's, 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 Fake, what's that word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's fake confidence, y'all. It's fake confidence. It's absolute fake confidence. So here is what I want to challenge you to do to reshape your thinking. Is in order for you to be become a cybersecurity professional, you must first become one. So check this out real quick. There's there's this thing that I have. I could, I could give y'all example after example how this has worked for me in my life. But I want, to, I want to take it back to Christ real, real quick. So Christ came into this world to save humanity, right? But he said over in, in Matthew that he came to serve, not be served. And because he executed that level of service, he was rewarded with all authority in heaven. So notice, he came, he served, he executed, rewarded with authority. Hopefully y'all picking that up. So what I'm, what I'm telling you is like, there was no titles associated with that. When I got my first job as an IT security analyst, I was already doing the cybersecurity stuff in my role as an IT guy and the company created the role for me because I chose to serve. Because I chose to serve. And the things that I had learned that even helped me prepare for that cybersecurity role were not even things that came from the job that I was doing. It came from projects and things that I worked on in my own time. So what I'm telling you is the fastest way to land a job as a cybersecurity professional is to first become a cybersecurity professional by serving. It's going to cost you some time. It is going to cost you some time. Because the only way that you are going to have the true mindset shift and the confidence to do the job, especially getting paid for it, is to do it. 
Because most people have this infatuation that I'm going to get this $100,000 job. It's going to be my first job. And you just don't know when that offer letter comes. It's going to stress you out because you're going to be like, yo, I'm not worthy for this. Can I even do the job? But if it's something that you have already been doing, it's going to be a such, such a simple shift. Such a simple shift. So the things that I did to get experience before I actually even got my first IT job was number one, creating projects, looking for problems to solve, tinkering with things. I want you to divorce the idea in your mind that you have to associate your experience and skill set with a company. That right there is one of the biggest thieves of people's success. Because the idea is I've done all these great things, but now I can't put it on my resume because it doesn't go with a company. And that's wrong, y'all. Companies are hiring you based on your ability and how you can solve problems and add value, not for the companies that you work for and not for the certifications that you have. But until you shift your mindset to understanding that you are the cybersecurity professional and any experience that you have is relative and can be used to further your career, this is going to be difficult and you will continue watching videos like this on YouTube right now looking for the next fix instead of getting up out your chair and going to get to work. Ah, and that's all I got for this, you know? That's all I got. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, thump that subscribe button, that bell so you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to the next level. And I want you to sit and think about this, y'all. It starts here. Peace.